hi there welcome back to my channel so in this video I'm going to discuss with you about how to do the public speaking and how to overcome the fear of facing the audience facing the stage or facing the camera so what's the preliminary exercise that you could do before you pre uh, give a presentation on the stage uh, it's nothing but uh, look in front of a mirror uh, speak whatever comes to your mouth and uh, try to record a video of your and then it brings you the confidence before doing all such things look into the mirror and practice loud and practice whatever comes to whatever is the topic that you know better try to speak that better topic so you know the topic better so you know how to speak okay why does that fear come so uh, you when you think about uh, uh, what next has to be told and what is in the script and if you're by hearted something or like uh, you think what the other person will uh, think about if I get nervous Body language is a way of communicating without using the words. I can say that it's a combination of facial expressions, your gestures, that you do that, and uh, your body movements, and that should convey what's going on in your mind. So you'll have to practice a strong, a confident body language to impress the audience and thereby to create a good impact for your presentation. Okay, maintaining eye contact. Maintaining eye contact while speaking is uh, actually a very good uh, a sign of a good personality in you. That is, when you are speaking to someone else, you have to look at their eyes and then you have to speak. Because it is uh, like uh, you are showing a rapport with them or you are developing a good friendship with them. Or there is a good sign of uh, conversation, initiating a conversation. Or that on the contrary, if you look somewhere and speak and with the hands and the legs, uh, as if that you are not interested in the conversation, your listener will absolutely get no interest in talking to you and they uh, might think about some, some ways of ending that uh, topic. Uh, don't select a topic that you don't know proper, uh, you have not done considerable research on one particular topic. If that is the case, you don't select that topic. Select any topic that interests you to speak and select uh, any topic that your audience would love to hear from you. Uh, look at the camera screen or the flashlight of the uh, video cam, the uh, camera that is facing towards you. Treat them like your friend. Look at, look straight into the eyes and imagine that your best friend is sitting in front of you so that you can talk something to them. I don't ever think that you are on the stage and uh, the camera is something like your higher authority or something that just, that judges your knowledge and uh, they are, everybody are listening to what you talk and they they are about to criticize you or they are about to give a suggestion. No such thoughts should dominate your mind. Think about, think that uh, the camera is just your friend and you are talking directly to your friend. And it's not a big deal. It happens when you are in a stage and you are talking about something and then your best friend unexpectedly comes in front of you or you are seeing them on, while you are standing on the stage. It happens because from a human perspective it's not a big deal and it happens that you see one of your best friends or an unexpected person as I just mentioned now. It, uh, you will feel surprised and your attention would get diverted but at that same time you just say one word excuse me i'm sorry and continue the topic and don't let that thought come once again to your mind once when you have a sufficient practice after looking into the mirror and then you'll have an idea of how your body language should be there how your gestures in the hand gestures or your way of presentation as to impress the uh, listeners if it is capable but at your end then please go ahead you can do better than you think you can do it knowledge your audience it's not that as soon as you reach the stage you'll have to begin talking it's perfectly not a correct way of doing it so you have at least 60 seconds to capture your audience attention so this helps captivate them before they are mentally prepared to listen to you if you speak something because you wanted to speak something at that time the naturality goes there so then uh, your talk will not be interested you'll always have to be uh, build a rapport with the uh, listeners and then uh, the listeners should have a confidence with you 
there should be a friendly relation between you and the listener so they'll be interested in your future talks that uh, friendly relation or that happy atmosphere you are the one who can create a happy atmosphere with your surroundings rather than giving a negativity or giving a hatredness it's up to you that you have to send the vibes of positivity and because everybody loves to have a positive vibe there so you'll get uh, your audience strength will be strengthened and all will love listening to your talks in future